Hi, welcome. I'm Lulu. I'm happy you're here. I wanted to talk about a subject that's been coming up a lot for me this week. I have been watching talks every morning before I get out of bed, something inspirational, something motivational to get me going. And this week, the topic of happiness has been a consistent theme. I've been watching Dr. Robert Holden, who is one of my favorite all-time spiritual teachers, and he talks about um, happiness. It's like, it's like his it's his thing. He um, studies it. He has books about it, Happiness Now. He has an online course, The Happiness Project, and he's just very smart. He's a lot of fun to, to watch. He's a lot of fun to listen to. Very funny guy. And of course, he's got a British accent, which is pleasant on the ears. So he's talking about happiness. And one of the videos I watched today were the three common blocks to your happiness. And these are blocks that you're actually doing to yourself. And I wanted to share that with you today. The first one that he talked about was the pursuit of happiness. When you think about the word pursuit alone, you know, that means you're you're chasing after, you're going for it, you're trying to, to attain something. And when it comes to happiness, it's not outside of you. You're pursuing something that is always within. It's actually your natural state and um, something that you always are if you allow it. So that was the number one block, that people pursue happiness, which means they're putting this outside of themselves, and that is not the way to be happy. The second one that he talked about is called mind wandering, and this is when you are dreaming up when you're gonna be happy. I'll be happy if, I'll be happy when, you know, whenever you get something, oh, then I'll be happy. And that means you're not living for in right now and you're not happy with what it is right now your life is about your future and uh, one of the funniest things that i he hear him say a lot is um that you're living in the not now you know we're good spiritual students we we understand the idea of now and we think it's a great concept but but not this now maybe a different now i'll live in the now when it's a better one <laughs> And um, so that kind of defeats the whole purpose because now is all you have. And when you're mind wandering and saying, I'll be happier if, I'll be happier, happier when, then you're not living for now. The third one was positive thinking. And at first when I heard this, I was like, how is positive thinking blocking my own happiness? But when he talks about it, it's when you are always trying to be positive and when you are always happy-go-lucky, positive, that might mean that you are neglecting or not honoring those sad times. You're, you're being positive and avoiding it instead of dealing with it. And so happiness isn't the absence of sadness. It is actually the honoring of sadness and the hard times, but being able to get through it quicker. So that is, um, that's what he feels happiness is. It's not the absence of sadness or hard times, it's just being able to sit with it when it comes up and being ready to, to deal with it, knowing that it's temporary. Um, one of the things he recommends is to identify what in your life is holding yourself back. How are you limiting your own, your own happiness? Because without awareness, there can be no change. So what are you doing to limit your own happiness? Are you, you know, thinking happiness is not attainable now, but until something else happens? Are you um, doing something what he calls dysfunctional independence, where you are trying to do everything by yourself and you feel like it's all your responsibility, but you know, you don't go a day without the assistance of someone somehow? Um, are you not allowing time for your own creative, pursuits? Are you not honoring your own curiosities and your own your own wonders that you want to dabble in? What do you want to dabble in? And are you not giving yourself that time? Or are you not being committed to your own health in some way? You know, are you not doing yoga and that usually helps you feel calmer, but you feel like you do that when you have time? One of the, the worst things I hear people say is, um, I'll do that in my spare time. You know, I'll do something for myself in my spare time when there's no such thing as spare time. If you don't give yourself that time, if you don't commit to yourself, 
then it'll never happen. So really sit with yourself, think about how you might be limiting your own happiness and you know, make a list. Try to do those things that you're stopping yourself from. So you can find out more about me at lulubees.com. I am excited that you're here. Please comment below and let's continue this discussion. And I hope you guys have a great day. I'll talk to you later.